You're watching the Sunoco Minor League Cricket Championship, brought to you by our 2023 partners. Hello and a very warm welcome to the Mercer County Park. We are here for the 2023 Sunoco Minor League Cricket Championship. A full weekend of fixtures on show today. And this game is coming to you between Manhattan Yorkers and the Philadelphians. High-flying Philadelphians who, after three games, have two wins and one no result to show for their efforts with five points. Yorkers, on the other hand, two defeats and one victory means that they're in desperate need of put some points onto that point, points table and they'll be looking to secure a victory here today. If you look at the rosters of both the teams, there are some household names in both the teams. And if you look at the Philadelphians, obviously Liam Plunkett is there, Brian Scott, Trinson Carmichael, Jonathan Fu. They are household names when it comes to minor league cricket championship and in Liam Plunkett's case of international pedigree. <laughs> Manhattan Yorkers are in the middle at the moment in the field and uh, the Philadelphians with their ever familiar gold shirts and navy blue trousers or black trousers. They have 
taken to the field as the two openers are in the middle. Ryan Scott is at the non-striker end. Your score chart would be showing him as facing, but Ryan is at the non-striker end. <coughs> Interesting looking pitch as we watch. Looks like it. Manoj Acharya there. Start off the proceedings. But interesting looking pitch and also the outfield pretty heavy in parts. Be hard work for the batters, it looks like it. Emmanuel. Anirath Emmanuel is the batter on strike. This is Ryan Scott on your screens. Rolling his fingers over it. As a batter, when you look down at the strip, the one that has been presented to you here at the Mercer County Park, it really does put doubts in your mind that what is going to happen after the ball pitches on it. And someone like Manoj Acharya, who's a, a player with a very good pedigree, can make life difficult for the batters. As you see that one lifted awkwardly off the length, managed well in the end. I was going through the rosters of the Philadelphians to begin the proceedings. Manhattan Yorkers also have household names in their lineup. Jacharya being one. This guy, on this kind of pitch, you would be a little bit patient with the batters if they want to have a look in. They probably can do so because by the looks of it, it won't look a very high scoring ground with this very, very thick and heavy outfield as well. The edge on the bounce to the slip fielder. No damage done. No runs on the board after the end of first over. A made in from Manoj Acharya to start off the proceedings here at Mercer County Park. Beautiful sunny day. Scattered clouds. Plenty of blue sky as well. That means that conditions are pretty gorgeous. Slightly on the hotter side, all right, but minor league cricket in full swing this weekend all across the country. Hope to see an exciting contest here, albeit, like I just said, it wouldn't look like a high scoring contest for me looking at the pitch there and the the outfield Brian Scott will get the opportunity to take strike now belligerent Brian Scott he's made a name for himself actually saw him make that 100 last year Beg your pardon, the year before, the very first year of the minor league championships down at Prairie View. He really put the ballers to the sword on that day. And he's well capable of doing it. Look at that bunch of grass right in front of his eye line on the good length. It's a fully delivery. He still goes for it. I think ground shots today are very unlikely to bring full value 
because of this outfield. Probably the power players will enjoy it more. But when I say this, still have to keep in consideration the, the nature of the pitch. So probably it will be a difficult day for batters. I can't stress enough on that. On any other day, it would have yielded more than a single that it did today. But Emmanuel is off the mark now. Cut shot, Ryan Scott. Wasn't that much room available to him. <clears throat> Rochir Joshi. He's quite a tall, strapping lad. Scott has given it a flick. Nice wristy one. But field is set for that shot. This is another of the things that the batters would have to do today. They will really have to run hard between the wickets. Like I said, boundary fours will be hard to come by. So that is another method for them to accumulate. Going by the few previous games that were played at this venue, 120, one would suggest, would be a formidable total here. One would have to bowl and feel very poorly to allow the other team to score more than that. Scott goes aerial, chance and taken. Big wicket. The dangerous Ryan Scott has been dismissed early doors. You would have thought that the wicket is not suited for those expensive stroke play. But this is how Ryan Scott plays. And he paid the ultimate price today. The ball hit him probably near the splice of the bat, ballooned up in the air. There was plenty to be done by the fielder who actually covered the ground quickly and made sure he got there and took it with both hands. Excellent take and the dangerous Ryan Scott departs the scene very early. The Philadelphians now 5 for 1. No ball and a free hit. That's what not the doctor ordered on conditions like this. 
It's his absolute gift for the opposition where run scoring can be difficult. Remember, every run that you concede, you would have to score one more than that. And that can be a difficult task. So there's very little room for indiscipline in conditions like these. deemed himself with that free hit that went only for one. Two overs gone, Philadelphians seven for one. What's up, Doug? What got into you? <laughs> At Sunoco, we know how to fuel peak performance. Fuel your best. interesting situation you very rarely come across in t20 games where the batsmen or the batters really have to think and really plan their innings because generally you have to go hard at the bowling got to look to find boundaries at regular intervals but here the equation is completely different because of the conditions on offer and it will be pretty same for both I reckon so it can form an exciting contest where fours and sixes are really at a premium unlike otherwise in T20 cricket at this one spins sharply across the face of the bat the sigh has got the pit between his teeth. These conditions the bowlers will definitely enjoy. And I'm liking it in a way because generally the bowlers are at the receiving end in T20 cricket. They have very little margin of error and they get treated quite roughly in these shorter formats. But I think today the equation is in their favor and it's the batters who would have to up their game and use all their skills to score a total here. Knocked him over. Too loose. Not to be recommended on such a surface as Ram Prasad was looking for that expensive drive against the spin. The length wasn't there. And the turn was enough to go through that big ga gate. You watch it very closely. Not much of a footwork. Look at how big a gap there was between the bat and pad. You could have driven a truck through that gap. And Ram Prasad, looking at reach out at that delivery, not recommended, like I said, in these conditions. And he will have to look. Just look back at this dismissal and think to himself, that wasn't the right option. Conditions are difficult, yes, but you've got to fight hard. Prasad didn't do that. Philadelphians, nine for two.
Sharma is the new man in. You'll have to face the music under these difficult conditions. If you look at the Philadelphians lineup, Ryan Scott has already been dismissed. Mario Ramprasad also has joined him in the hut. Anirudh Emmanuel in the middle. Sharma has joined him. Be interesting to see how Jonathan Fu, who's the key man, will fare here. They're definitely missing Liam Plunkett today because of other commitments. But this lineup will have to really dig deep to find a competitive total against Manhattan Yorkers, who desperately need a win as well. Anish Patel is in there, Salan Khan, Prichar Ruchir Joshi, seen him ball pretty well, Manoja Charya is a player with a high pedigree. Contest seems to be pretty even in terms of man to man. Again goes past the outside edge. Manuel has been there since the beginning. Sometimes the, the planning aspect of a batting innings is t in T20 cricket is not required. Such is the pace of the game as we watch this one high in the air and it will plug in the outfield as expected but running was good so a couple of runs added to the total so the planning element is missing in t20 cricket such as the fast pace of the, cr the game and you just required to play instinctively but on this pitch to really plan your innings, you need to know what is a good total on this pitch. And then that is one aspect of planning your innings. The other is how to get there. And without a proper method, you cannot get there. And that is the intriguing part of this inning. So far, the two batters that have lost their wicket, they really didn't show that that method, they just played instinctively as they would do in, on any other wicket. They paid a huge price for it. Quick singles could be the order of the day tip and run but for that the batters need to really have good communication between them As the time runs out pretty quickly in these 20 overs what can I do about it this is what Emmanuel says as this one has really gone away from him off the seam squared him up Rochir Joshi Licking his lips. Who wouldn't if you were a bowler? They're really making the batters work and earn their money. It's a neat stroke on the onside. For a single, just four of the over. Four gone. 13 for 2. Lakshmi
Borrower gone. Borrower's gone. A run rate of 3.25. 13 for 2. Anirudh on strike. This one to fall and dropped. Well, 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 the opportunity came and just dipped on him at the last minute. Probably he misjudged it. Have another look. Not to worry about though, because the stumps have been rattled. Another soft dismissal. That ball came in with the arm. And the bat didn't come down in time. The batters have really been made to work for their runs, which they're not used to in this format. And Emmanuel... Got stuck on the crease. Look at those feet rooted to the crease. And the ball rattled into the stumps. Desai got his revenge real quick. And that drop catch didn't make any difference whatsoever. The Philadelphians 13 for 3. See that drop catch. Fielder misjudged it. Instead of taking a step forward, he took a step back. But then he watched this and would have breathed a sigh of relief. Because runs are at a premium today. You don't want to give any opportunities to the opposition. And that drop catch, luckily, didn't cost anything for the Manhattan Yorkers. Desai has got now two wickets for two runs. Incredible figures into his second over. Hanan is beaten first delivery that left him with the arm. Played it on the walk. Must be very, very interesting to see if we had the option of a side on replay. He was walking as he played that ball and the wicketkeeper collected the ball and whipped the bales off. Deep was very quick. Would have been interesting replay. He's well back in the crease to start off. Very upright against spin. Decides to use the feet. Is that a clean connection? Not at all. So the batters continue to defy the conditions and look to play the expensive game. And they're paying heavy price for it. This time it's Raj Nanan who was just there for one ball. And he already decided that his defensive technique wasn't good enough for him to survive on this pitch. But his attacking intent didn't help him either. Good high ball and an excellent catch there. Manhattan Yorkers are right on top here. They've got the Philadelphians on the mat. 13 for 4. These are the wickets. Look at Ryan Scott. 
I said, this wicket is not suited for that expensive game that these players are used to. Another one missing it by a mile. And that is after a drop catch. Can you believe that? That's the latest casualty. Raj Nanan, just after one ball, he gave up on his defensive technique and perished. They're not learning, the Philadelphians. Back live now as more confusion between the batters. A pair of Sharmas in the middle. Philadelphians desperately need a partnership. Two wickets in the over and no run so far. Abai may help out a little bit as this one scooted along the turf, giving no chance to the wicket keeper. Still a maiden over from Desai, whose incredible figures read that he's got two wickets for three runs in two overs. Five gone, 14 for four. Took that last corner pretty quick. Sir, I need one hand on the roof, one hand on the pump. Time out for Sunoco Go Rewards. Keep pumping. With new Sunoco Go Rewards, when you fuel, you save because rewards come first. Aditya Sharma came into bat number six. By virtue of that bye, he will take up the strike for the Next over, look at that. Both the batters have just three balls between them. And they're not yet off the mark. Be interesting to see some power play stats that where this will stand for the bowling team. 14-4 inside five overs. Rare days where the bowlers are completely dominating as this one got stuck in the pitch again and turned and bounced away from Aditya Sharma. <clears throat> Squared him up again. Bowlers and fielders are on top. And that is an absolute understatement. Bold him. A fuller delivery. The batters are really at sea. Looked like he just yorked himself. The non-striker was obscuring our view. But that went straight through his defenses. Another tame, tame dismissal. Quite full and flighted delivery. He just yorked himself. And his stumps got pegged back. This will give us a better idea. No footwork whatsoever. The conditions are difficult. That is a fact, but it is also a fact that the batter's technique and temperament has really left a lot to be desired. Aditya Sharma gone for duck, and half the side is back in the hutch for just 14 runs for the Phillies.
rare bad ball an opportunity for the batters to add some runs to the total Jonathan Fu is a very very capable batter and probably the key for Philadelphians as he greets an absolute freebie with disdain a much needed boundary like I said the conditions are difficult for batting but the approach really wasn't up to the mark for the Philadelphians Sanoko Minor League Championship 2023. Such a high octane contest. You have to also make the point that it deserves better conditions for the premier players of the country. So you see the end of the power play. Probably the lowest ever total in power play. 18 for 5 after 6 overs. And look at that scorecard. None of the batters have gone into double figures just yet. In fact, the total score is barely trickled up to 18. And that does include four extras as well. Bowlers have really bowled well according to the conditions. See some Philadelphians faithful. They made their way to the ground, shaking their head. They cannot believe what they've seen. And I don't blame them. Sight of some more spectators there. This one is full in the arc. Another boundary. Sharma really got to the pitch of the ball. That's exactly what you have to do on this pitch. Wait for a delivery. But you can get right to the pitch off or can stay back in your crease. Use the depth of the crease. This time, good extension of the arms there. Good bit of work from our production team as well. Omer at the helm of the affairs. Very talented and hardworking individual. We'll be making sure we bring the best possible pictures to you from these broadcasts. My name is Shah Faisal. On the mic for this important encounter, like I said before the start of the game, Yorkers were on three points, two points after two, after three games. And the Philadelphians had notched up five points, courtesy two victories and a no result. So the Yorkers had to win today, close in on the Philadelphians. They made a good start. A couple of boundaries have come in the last two overs. Suggesting if you stay in the middle, you wait for your opportunities, you will get balls to hit. But for that, you have to have a precise footwork. You have to pick up the lengths really quickly to have any chance in these conditions. Stand and deliver wouldn't work for once in T20 cricket here. There you go, another full toss, another opportunity to add to that total. Running was good, and a couple of runs will mean that it has been a pretty productive over for the Philadelphians. Six, eight runs of the over, seven gone, 26 for five.
get the domination with the ball from Manhattan Yorkers. Three wickets for Desai. Just for 10 runs off his three overs. One for 11 for Richard Joshi. And Prit Shah also got amongst the wicket. Manoj Acharya just bowled that one maiden and then he was taken out of the attack. Should have done better with that full toss. Sharma. I said the opportunities are few and far between on these in this tough pitch. When it does come along as a batter, I try and capitalize. Jonathan Fu has got underneath that and give it an almighty whack. That's clever batting. Just cleared that front leg, allowed the arms to go through the line of the ball, and use the bottom hand to get the elevation. That's handy runs here. Despite this desperate situation, you just cannot give up. Try and put a total on the board. You never know. Anyone who's followed cricket in subcontinent would know that this is a typical pitch that you come across in different maidans across India and Pakistan where it turns square at, in club cricket. And hence why the batters do have a method to score against such bowling. My personal experience would tell that if you hang in there, first rate the bowlers, don't give them your wicket, they'll try something different and they will give you opportunities to score. Especially as a batter, you just got to wait for anything short that might just sit up for you, you can capitalize. He got another delivery that sh should have been coming forward to. Went back and beaten Sharma. Eight of the over, another handy one for Philadelphians, 34 for five. chart would suggest that the, there is a little bit of upsurge in the scoring rate in the last two overs. Six in the last over, a boundary in the one before. So you see plenty of breeze around, getting pretty windy actually at the Mercer County Park. Manoj Acharya back into the attack. Jonathan Fu, as he so often does for Philadelphians, does play a crucial role in that middle of the innings. And I remember seeing him phenomenal knocks in minor league championships. This one red off a length. You cannot do anything about it. Manoj Acharya takes the catch and gives Sharma the send off. Quite unnecessary because 
Sharma couldn't do anything about this delivery. In fact, no one else could have done anything about it. That is the kind of dismissal that you don't need to worry about as a batter because you have done absolutely nothing wrong. It's just the wicket has got you on that occasion. Sharma's vigil has come to an end. Look at that nasty delivery. Like I said, he didn't do a lot wrong. He's just completely unplayable. Manoj Acharya's aggression. Like I said, for once, bowlers have the upper hand in this shorter format as Philadelphians now struggling even further. 35 for 6. Look at that aggression from Manoj Acharya. Sharma just had to just put his head down, turn away and walk back. Bhatia is a new batter. Manoj Achari has just conceded one run in his nice nine deliveries. And you look at the Manhattan Yokers, their fielders, really making some noise in the middle. Obviously, when you see a score line of 35 for 6, you can afford to do that. Slip is in place for Bhatia. Started off with leaving two good deliveries. Peter outside the off stump again. I'm sure as anyone would be. Looking at this pitch, that was Bhatia who's wanting to and willing to come forward, but that back of a length it's really difficult for the batters, no doubt about that. As this one scoots along the ground, Bhatia plays out a dot, just a one run and a wicket off the over. Nine gone, 35 for six Philadelphians. Story of domination by the bowlers. Look at those fall of wickets. They have come at a very, very regular interval. Any batting innings will really struggle to cope with such loss of wickets at a regular interval. Plenty of cricket coming your way this weekend. From 2023 Sunoco Minor League Championship from all across the country. And you can keep tabs with all the action from our YouTube channel, that is MLC Network, Twitter at MILC, MIL Cricket, and also on Facebook and Instagram at MILC USA. As 
its runs are at an absolute premium today here at the Mercer County Park. So time to thank our title sponsors, Sunoco, and our tournament official sponsors, Lakshmi. Truly appreciate you supporting minor league cricket championship and helping us promote the game of cricket in this part of the world without the help and support of the sponsors it would be very very difficult so we do appreciate that keep exciting cricket and like i said the scoreline may suggest that the batting team is struggling but Given those conditions to opposition, they will have a challenge as well when they come out to bat. Every run is important here. Every single run. I have to wait for the umpire signal. I think it would be a wide. Two runs will be added to the total. That is the right way to bat here, Jonathan Fu. You have to bring out your defensive technique. You might have put put up in the locker because this 320 cricket, especially on artificial turfs, you don't really require that. You require on your power game. This is a very ambitious shout. Jonathan Fu was way down the pitch. This is good tactic for him though. He's giving the bowler something to think about, not allowing him to bowl, that use of feet. Again, that appeal would not yield any result. Good bowling there from Pawar. The reason Fu wants to advance down the wicket is to make Pawar change his length. Because anything short on this pitch can be carted away for runs. That's probably the easier option for the batters. So far, both the batters and the bowlers, they're really showing good discipline and waiting for each other to blink. Halfway stage has been reached. Philadelphians 38 for 6. What got into you? <laughs> At Sunoco, we know how to fuel peak performance. Fuel your best. Just the three of the previous over. 38 for six at the halfway stage. I was talking about what should be a good score. I think the batting team need not to worry about that. Just need to take this game deep, take this batting innings deep till the 18th, 19th over without further loss of any wickets and see where they end up. So it's up and over, two full. Bhatia, who was prepared to leave Manoj Acharya, got off the mark eventually. If you have good footwork on this pitch, you can still manage. There's enough full deliveries where you can get to the pitch. Not fours and sixes, but you can hit them in the gaps and run hard. Or otherwise, just, you just wait for anything short that might just set up. To do all that, you've got to remain in the middle. To stay patient. This pitch and this game is not about fours and sixes.
Jonathan Fu has tried his best to force the bowlers to bowl him anything that is short of length so he can play off the back foot. To their credit, Preet Shah and his spinner colleague, they haven't given Fu any opportunity to go onto that back foot. You see the last delivery as well. Fu was looking to stay back in his crease, hoping that Preet will give him a shorter delivery, which he didn't. That left Fu with no options but just to leave the ball. <laughs> Brings out the reverse sweep, the switch hit to good effect as well. Another precious boundary for Jonathan Fu. He's really playing this cleverly. Very much an underrated player, Jonathan Fu. Like I was mentioning, I did see him play incredible knocks in the first minor league in Atlanta where his team was down and out. He scored a breathtaking 41, which eventually proved to be a match-winning innings where his team won by a narrow margin. Brings out the switch hit again. This time he's hit it. The bowler was appealing. Jonathan Fu just turned around and tells him, what is it? What is the fuss all about? I hit the ball. Five runs off the over. As we watch this again very closely, might have been very, very confident that he hit it. Eleven gone, forty-three for six. Sharp spinning delivery, slightly back of a length from Pawar. Jonathan Fu had a quick word with Bhatia. They're telling him to don't lose patience. That kept low and played on. He's looking to cut the ball and it did turn back into it. Wrong option from Bhatia. As Jonathan Fu clearly pointed out to him that on this pitch, playing against the spin is not to be recommended. And this proved fatal for Bhatia as he was looking to play against the spin. The turn and the low bounce really took care of him. But you still have to say that he chose the wrong option. Playing with a horizontal bat on such a pitch with the turning ball, surely that was the, not the right option. And he can tell his story walking back to the dugout as he's left his team in even more trouble with 43 for 7. Shad is the new batter. Very, 
very interesting passage in play where Jonathan Fu did walk up to his partner Bhatia before, before he got dismissed. He had a little word with him. And then when Bhatia got bold, he was adamant that it was the wicket's fault that it kept low and it turned on him. It looked like both the batters were in disagreement because Jonathan Fu clearly thought that Bhatia misread the plot. And one would have to agree with Jonathan Fu on that. When you spend those many balls in the middle, it tends to get a little bit easier for you. And when you give it away, you bring it more diff make it more difficult for your team. It's the new batsman Prashad will find out. Also affect Jonathan Fu as well, who in partnership with Bhatia was looking to push the scoring along. That's another soft dismissal. Very, very poor from Prasad. But batting at number nine, you could tell that his batting prowess is not something to be proud of because his team is in trouble and he chose another wrong option that shot was absolute nothing shot and Jonathan Fu must be tearing his hair at the non-striker end as Manhattan Yorkers celebrate they are in complete control of this game 43 for 8 Philadelphians Look at the replay. What was he trying to do? I have no idea. Not too short for the pull shot. Especially the way his feet ended up. And look at Jonathan Fu. His head bowed down. Almost in resignation. And now it's all down to him. Just two wickets standing. He'd have to take most of the strike. Looks like we got a five ball over or slight discrepancy because over number 13 is about to begin. Which means that Fu is on strike. whose job is very difficult because you have to farm the strike. Boundaries are not easy to find. Thick and heavy outfield. This one, he's reverse swept it. Or pulled it, rather. Just the one run and he's exposed number 10 to power is what he didn't want to do. Forty four for eight now. That ball turn and bounce from Desai. Three wickets for 11 runs.
Dr. Jabbar Mohammed, his job will be to try and stay with Jonathan Fu. He's got two more balls to survive in this over. Play and a miss, but the important thing is that Jonathan Fu will be able to take strike in the next over. And the wickets have been coming thick and fast here. It's been absolute carnage, absolute procession here at the Mercer County Park. This is how it started. Ryan Scott, one would expect better from such an experienced man. That was the second dismissal. Playing away from the body under the conditions. These are some poor choices of shots. Second ball for Rajan. And then another full pitch delivery. Look at that. No footwork whatsoever. This is perhaps the only dismissal from Manoj Acharya where you can say that it wasn't the batter's fault. Bhatti, after a good partnership, played a wrong shot. And Number nine also played a soft dismissal that really was an easy catch. You can blame the wicket as much as you want, but these are the conditions you're faced with. And as a good seasoned cricketer, your job is to adjust to the conditions and play accordingly like Jonathan Fu has. Look at this, 23 of 22 deliveries. He's put the bad ball away and kept the good ball out. Cannot get any simpler than that. See now with all his improvisation and his use of feet, his trickeries, he's trying to make the ballers think and try to come them out of their comfort zone and try something different. one short enough but it just died on Jonathan Fu but how much time he's got still adjusted I know that he couldn't score off it but he's protecting his wicket imagine if at this stage there were two or three down they could put ballers under pressure and get their team to close to 100 which would be very competitive in my opinion on this pitch That expensive stroke play from the top order and middle order has really left them with no option. And Jonathan Fu fighting the lone battle. Every now and then, like I said, as a batter, if you stay in the middle, you get this kind of ball where you can put it away for runs. Sometimes for boundary force. If not, just ones and twos. This is the problem Fu has now that he's played five deliveries. He has to expose the number 10 for at least one delivery. Which he survives. And this will give Fu another chance at the beginning of the over to add some more runs as Pawar has ended his spell 2 for 12 of his 4 overs conditions immensely helpful for him and he has a good day out 14 gone, 45 for 8 Base on the ball is the next option.
Jonathan Fu would probably like it. At least he'll have the option to use the pace on the ball. Add some important runs to the total. Still six overs to go. Can you believe it? Six overs is a long time in T20 game. That's the one third of the innings. Wait for the bad ball. That's his strategy. There was a single available, but he's not willing to expose the number 10 to Rochir Joshi. Don't envy the role that Jonathan Fu has to play or his teammates has left him to play. But he's calmly playing his part. He's making sure he keeps Manhattan Yorkers in the field for as long as he can. Decided to take the single on the fourth delivery. Won't have imagined that in a T20 game, a top order batter will have to shield the strike and protect the tail ender. Seen this mostly in Test cricket, the longer version of the game. Very rarely, even in 50 over cricket. So. Somehow our scorers have missed that one run that Fu scored to get off strike. With on offer, the number 10. Really made good use of it. Put back to ball. Mohammed adds a couple of valuable runs to the total. Full toss, we'll have to wait for the umpire's signal as Mohammed has helped it along. Probably a couple more runs to him. That last delivery was pretty marginal. I have to check with our production team and Omer to see if we got a side on replay for that last delivery because the height was pretty close to being a no ball, which in such a low scoring game would have been a free hit, an extra run, an extra delivery. But as it happened, the umpire didn't call it a no ball. Mohammed is a short man, he's not very tall. Interesting call there. Four 
49 for 8. Fu's back on strike with 5 overs to go. Tail is at the ball increase. Quick leg spinner. Looks like it. Ooh, how do you play that? Brings out a smile on the face of Jonathan Fu. Danish Patel. Quick through the air. Some extraordinary bounce on that last delivery. It's an incredible score line. It's even more incredible if you look at the projected scores. At the current rate, the Philadelphians will end up on 64 if they were able to bat the 20 overs. Wow. It was short, but too quick. Couldn't latch on to it. Jonathan Fu is taken by surprise, shaking his head. Twenty-five is his score out of forty-nine of his team total. As this one's in the air, that will be the end of Jonathan Fu. A quick delivery. It was short, but it did rear up on him. And Fu, who's looking to pull, couldn't control, got the leading edge. And his vigil has come to an end. Like I said, unlike his other teammates, he did try his best, and he fought really hard for his team. But he walks back dejected. As Danish Patel can celebrate. Nothing much to celebrate for Fu and the Philadelphians, who are 49 for 9. Looking to control that pull shot. That bounce was too much. And the lack of pace as well. Almost it seems as if it would have hit the back of the bat. Drysdale is the last man in. We even get up to 50. That is the question. Manhattan Yorkers looking to close out that innings. An almighty heave there from Drysdale. Got the edge. Couple of runs will bring up the 50 for Philadelphians. 16 gone. 51 for 9. Every run is important. You never know because conditions are not easy here for batting. Lakshmi Basmati Rice ko ghar lane ka. Lakshmi Extra Long Basmati Rice. Iska har dana ho itna lamba, pakte huye mehke, aur plate pe kya khub khile. Haan, mere ghar lane ka. Look at the bowling card under favorable conditions. Everyone got wickets. And Danish Patel, who was the sixth bowler used, got a wicket in his first over.
side the pick with three wickets. 51 for nine. Manoj Acharya has been brought back to finish things off here. He's looking for a run. An almighty mix up. And that's the end of the innings for the Philadelphians. The catastrophic innings has come to an end. Admittedly in difficult batting conditions. They are capitulated and bowled out for 51. Muhammad was looking for a tip and run. It went straight to the fielder. There wasn't any run. And he found that out pretty quickly when his stumps was disturbed and he was nowhere to be seen in the frame. And look at this story of demolition. Only Jonathan Fu can hold his head high in pride because he put up a fight. An impressive 25 out of a total of 51 batting down at number seven, Jonathan Fu. No one else could even come close to getting into a double figure. 51 is all they could muster in 16.1 overs of real tough examination by the bowlers of Manhattan Yorkers on a very, very difficult pitch, you have to say that. And Manhattan innings never got going. Ryan Scott and Anirul Emmanuel came to open the bat. Scott is an aggressive player by nature, but the conditions demanded something different from him, and he wasn't up to the task. He gave up the fight pretty early. So did Ram Prasad, who got bowled playing miles away from the ball, and then Emmanuel, who's just survived a missed opportunity, lost his stumps. Nanan, who just played one delivery before that, a big hee-haw and left their team in trouble. Another soft dismissal, full delivery with the feet rooted to the crease. No technique and no fight shown whatsoever by the top five. Only Jonathan Fu, when he came in, he was prepared to dig deep, wait for the bad balls in company with Sharma. They forged a little partnership as at this stage they were able to get a few boundaries consecutively. But then Sharma had to depart. He couldn't do anything about it. Patia and Fu also had a partnership. And Patia was really guilty of playing the wrong shot at the wrong time in wrong conditions. And once he went, the tail really wasn't capable of staying with Jonathan Fu. You have to say, Mohammed tried his best, but in the meantime, Fu was dismissed for 25. And just a couple of balls later, Mohammed lost his wicket and his team was bowled out for 51, leaving Manhattan Yorkers to make 52 to get that all-important victory. As players are taking a break, it is an innings break here, so we will take a short break as well, and we'll come back with live action in just a few moments. You're watching the Sunoco Minor League Cricket Championship, brought to you by our 2023 partners.
and welcome back to the Mercer County Park. The run chase has just begun. Just seen the first delivery. Drysdale opened the bowling. And Manhattan Yorkers chasing 52 are off and running. Danish Patel will take the strike now. Opening batters are in the middle. 52 is the required target. Is there another twist in the tail? Can some early wickets really set in some panic for the Yorkers? Tries to go big early doors. And it's clear the fence. Over long off. This was a sumptuous blow from Danish Patel. Just a little bit too full from Drysdale. Not a lot of runs to play. We've seen back of a length is a successful length here at the Mercer County pitch, which is a very difficult one to bat. Flowing drive. The ball would just simply not run on this outfield. We've seen enough evidence of that. But nine runs is a good start for the Manhattan Yorkers. Pretty strong breeze here at the Mercer County Park. Sun is out. Beautiful conditions. Swing and a miss on that occasion from Danish Patel. How often do you see this score line in a T20 game? But side batting first, getting bowled out. 51 inside 16 overs in the background you see those flags fluttering for evidence of that breeze that I was talking about Drysdale would be disappointed to concede that six early in the over finishes off strongly after first over nine for none Took that last corner pretty quick. Sir, I need one hand on the roof, one hand on the pump. Time out for Sunoco Go Rewards. Keep pumping. With new Sunoco Go Rewards, when you fuel, you save. Because rewards come first. Spin into the attack immediately. Up that one over from Drysdale. Lannan has been given the ball. Pranav is on strike. There's a slip. There's a short leg. Tall 
lad, Nanan. We'll exploit that uneven bounce on this pitch. He bowls in good areas. Can be difficult to get away. There you go, the first wicket. Big charge down the wicket from Pranav. And he got beaten in flight. The batter's simply not learning on how to bat on this pitch as Pranav has been dismissed by Nanan on his second delivery. This run chase is not going to be easy. That's why I said that Drysdale would have been disappointed to concede that six of the second delivery in the first over. Immediate breakthrough means that there is a slight opening for the Philadelphians. have got the early wicket that they wanted, the Philadelphians, provided by Nanan, could need stumping there from the wicket keeper as well. How can you get away with playing such an expensive stroke on such pitch? Excellent glove work there, easy decision for the umpire. Ram Prasad behind the stumps, very neat and tidy. It's got to be ready because there might be another opportunity in the offing. They've got a short leg in. This is good to see. It'll slip in as well. It's out of picture. Big shot sliding down the leg side. Slip in a short leg, really putting pressure. But look at that, how far he had to reach out to beat that ball. And you cannot do that on this pitch. Look at Ram Prasad, the foot is in the air. Great work from the camera team. As you can see, the foot landed, but it was indeed outside of his ground. Well done to Omer and the production team. Good start from Nanan. Concedes a wide. Runs will be very, very hard to come by. Bowling is good on this pitch. Another expensive shot and another dismissal. They have just simply refused to learn. This time is Danish Patel gives the charge to Nanan. And two wickets in his first over means that his team is making a comeback. Trying to push this door open. Once again, trying to tempt the batter, lure them into that drive. Look at Ram Prasad once again, covering the angle of the delivery very nicely. Getting up with the ball, covering 
the line of the ball with his gloves and that foot before it bounced into the ground was in the air and probably away from that crease line as well splendid stuff from the philadelphians two overs gone 11 for two Eleven for two. I didn't think this run chase would be as simple as it looks with just fifty one on the board. But still I'm so surprised at the way the batters are coming out and trying to play big shots as if they were playing on a matting. Absolutely giving no respect to the conditions on hand. And they have paid a huge price for it. But Manhattan Yorkers are lucky because they're only chasing 52. And any one batter who could just take a leaf out of Jonathan Fu's book, they can come and stay in the middle for a while. And they will get to that target. So far, the two dismissals, they've really refused to learn. In the air, another soft dismissal, another expensive drive. Prajapati away from his body. And this is becoming so, so frustrating as the batters really are not considering the conditions. They're just playing their normal game and losing the wicket. They're falling like 10 pins here at the Mercer County Park. Look at that. He reached out for that delivery, pushed it with hard hands, and it carried to the fielder in the covers. This is a comeback of some sorts here from the Philadelphians. Their dugout is up on its feet, and they can clearly see an opening here, despite getting only 51 on the board. Manhattan Yorkers are 11 for 3. Well, 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 we're seeing an incredible game of cricket here at the Mercer County Park. An extremely low scoring affair. A slight hold up in play. Two batters. I'm really not sure what's happening here because the umpires were in the mix too. Couple of new batters in the middle. Both of them hadn't faced a delivery. Pawar and Patel. Like I said before, this run chase was never going to be that straightforward. And the scorecard might have suggested because the pitch is very difficult. A couple of good spinners have really made life difficult for the Manhattan Yorkers batters, not to mention their own adventurous approach as well is partly to be blamed for. Power is off the mark with a single.
plenty happening for the bowlers has been the case throughout the day here at the Mercer County Park. Staying on that back foot, Patel. Goes for another big shot. This time clears the field. Remember, we're still in the power play. These batter, batters would not stop taking chances. It did come off on that occasion because the length was too full. And Patel got close enough to the pitch of the ball. That's the only time you'll be able to make a solid connection. Another swing and a miss. On both occasions, not much footwork. But it just was close enough. And in the arc, the one he was able to make contact. You see that foot was still nowhere near the ball. Probably give you a better idea. But it's just close enough to that swinging arc of the bat. Three gone, 16 for three. Lakshmi Basmati Rice ko ghar lade ka. Lakshmi Extra Long Basmati Rice. Iska har dana ho itna lamba, pakte huye mehke, aur plate pe kya khub khile. Ha, mere ghar lade ka. Similar, similar story continues from the first innings where the batters are struggling. Mostly responsible for their own downfall through their lack of technique and lack of understanding of what's required on this pitch. Only Sharma, I can recall, is the only player who got an unplayable delivery. Oh, Ram Prasad, the wicket keeper, was covering the wrong line. It just spit on the batter from a length. Pawar had no clue about it. I have to say he didn't do a lot wrong himself, but got lucky because Ram Prasad missed the ball. Good bit of keeping there from Ram Prasad. That kept low and was way down the leg side. Brilliant bit of wicket keeping from Ram Prasad. He moved very, very quickly to his left. Had the low bounce to keep in mind. Look at that. Brilliantly moved and then stayed low with the ball. In the end, was audacious enough to try that reverse flick to effect the run out. Is all happening here. This is a contest still. Do not look at the low scores. It's a gripping contest. Another one spitting at the batter. Won't cost him a boundary though. Ram Prasad has been brilliant. Even he couldn't cope with that turn and bounce. Ball is spitting like a cobra from a length from Nanan. Eighteen for three. This one goes past the outside edge. If Nanan, the kind of bowling he's he's doing at the moment if he gets support from the other end because remember he's only allowed four overs this time the shake of the head from the umpire and then the raise of the finger another one bites the dust this time it's patel and naran had him all at sea throughout this over and finally gets his man as the philadelphians celebrate it's more than an opening now they're well and truly back in the game with 18 for four Manhattan Yorkers 
are slumping really, really quickly on this difficult surface. This one quicker through the air, came in with the arm. The only decision that the umpire had to make was it to see if it was sliding down. And he said, no, sir, it would have clattered into leg stump. This is what the umpires thought. And he raised his finger. Boy, this game is well and truly back on. Two wickets now for Nanan. In fact, three. Three for three in his 1.5 overs. 18 for four. Manhattan Yorkers, they do need someone to play like Jonathan Fu did. Who would that man be? That innings of only 25 from Jonathan Fu could still turn out to be a match-winning innings. How often do you hear that in a 320 game? An innings of 25 in a total of 51 will be a match winning innings. Wow, incredible. And it is drama. There is no shortage of drama. The nerves will be tested here. One delivery to go for Nana and it is third over well beg your pardon second over he's still got two to go disappointed with that delivery as it landed a little short thumps his hat onto his knee in disgust but still a wicket and just two runs in the over four gone 18 for four Muhammad to continue. Christy Flake hits the fielder at short leg. Another run added to the total. Runs are very, very important. Each and every one of them. Perhaps this is the partnership where the Manhattan Yorkers would want it to stay together for the next few overs. Because if they don't stop the rot, even 51 could seem a long, long way away. The difference between Muhammad and Nanan is that Nanan is a tall lad. He uses all his height. And goes past the outside edge. So he's very deceptive in terms of his length. He can afford to pitch slightly fuller and still get that bite. He will always get a little bit more bounce than Mohammed does. And also he bowls at a quicker pace plenty of help from the pitch. The bite that he gets really doesn't allow the batter any time. Nicely worked away by Arsalan Khan for his first run. Just the two of the over. Five gone, 20 for four. Oh, 
Oh, stunning blue sky here at the Mercer County Park. Glorious sunshine as well. The evening started to set in. 4.34 local time. And the contest has come back alive here after those four wickets. Another 31 needed. In a normal circumstances, you would say 31 with six wickets hand in hand. And 15 overs. It will be a walk in the park for any team in T20 cricket. Not here at the Mercer County Park because conditions are very, very difficult for the batters. A true test for the batters' technique, resolve, temperament, their intelligence. And only Jonathan Fu has come up trumps so far. Cricket delivery, slight fumble there from Ram Prasad behind the stumps. Off the edge, it didn't carry to the fielder at backward point. That's what I was talking about, uh, Nanan's pace, the, that the pace that he bowls, he gets plenty of bite. And because of his extra height as well, he gets that bounce. He has been very, very difficult to get away. That's pit at the batter again, off a length. Three for three of his 2.3 overs. Pawar has played 10 deliveries now. And as they say, it will become easier for you if you stay in the middle. Pawar has to do it for a little longer to be able to get into that position. But it looks like he's... He has the common sense about him to realize that he has to wait for an opportunity to score run. He can't go looking and look to create opportunities. He'll just have to be patient. Another excellent over from Nanan. Three overs, one made in three runs and three wickets. This is terrific stuff. And Philadelphians are back in the game big time. Six gone, 20 for four. What's up, Doug? What got into you? <laughs> At Sunoco, we know how to fuel peak performance. Fuel your best. Bowling card, just four bowlers used so far. In fact, bowler number four, Anirudh, is about to come on in place of Abdul Jabbar Mohammed. 32 more runs required. And now, what is a gorgeous afternoon setting into an evening. Here at the Mercer County Park. Crowds watching on with intent. On it, the right arm leg spinner. This could be a make or break move because if he lands them in good spot, it will be virtually impossible to play. And I say this is we've seen the finger spinners having a wonderful time here. This spinner can be dangerous. This one scooted along the ground. It was slightly shorter, but no bounce whatsoever for the batters to work with.
good areas so far from Emmanuel. These are the type of balls that will give the batters the opportunity to at least rotate strike. The ones that they are able to get to the pitch of the ball. A ripping leg break to finish off the first over for Emmanuel. He's not getting any easier for the batters. Seven gone, 22 for four. Now the 30 runs required and a lot of discipline and patience required for Manhattan Yorkers to seal the victory. Difficult pitch definitely adds a different dimension to T20 cricket. And today has been the case here at the Mercer County Park. Trysdale has been brought into the attack. Could intimidate some of these lower order batters. In fact, we're in the middle order at the moment, but a couple of wickets from here, and then the pace of Trysdale. really trouble the batters with that invariable bounce that is available to quicker men even the last one power wasn't prepared to cover the line of the ball this one as well swinging at it without looking to come into the line of the delivery that's what pace can do to you he's showing all his three stumps to drysdale have to wait and see if Drysdale is good enough to hit those stumps. If you watch Pawar take guard, although we're not right behind the bowler's arm, but clearly he's not covering his stumps. Not before the ball and not after the ball is bowled. Strike has been rotated. Let's now let's see how Arsalan Khan faces Drysdale. The Philadelphians will have to keep their hands ready for the catch or any opportunity coming their way. It's very compact from Arsalan. Nicely played. Nicely played. Chance. The direct hit would have been close. But credit to both the batters because they made the decision very, very quickly that they were going to run for it. And unless there is any hesitation, 
you need a direct hit to effect a run out. Pretty glum looking dugout there for the Manhattan Yorkers. They realize that this run chase is not straightforward. They've almost got to the halfway stage in terms of the runs. It's Drysdale once again looking for that fuller length. Another chance. Look at the umpire. He didn't get into a good position, but probably the batter was in comfortably. As four runs have come off this dry stale over, it gone 26 for four. Took that last corner pretty quick. Sir, I need one hand on the roof, one hand on the pump. Time out for Sunoco Go Rewards. Keep pumping. With new Sunoco Go Rewards, when you fuel, you save because rewards come first. Only four ballers used by the Philadelphians. Interesting to see who they want to ball now. They have the option to continue with Nanan, who's looked the most threatening. Taken Abdullah out after two overs. Then the leg spin off. Emmanuel. It's really crucial part of the innings. Slightly short of a length. Slightly easier length to manage for runs here on this pitch. These two, to their credit, have stopped the rot. Pawar, 19 deliveries for his six. Strike rate doesn't really matter. Arsalan, nice punchy looking drive on the onside for a single. Like I said before, this wicket will test a batter's skill, his defensive technique, his temperament, and his intelligence. And so far, I have to admit that these two batters have shown great intelligence and awareness of how to play under these conditions. Arsalan 5 of 12, Pawar 7 of 20. Still, they've just crossed the halfway stage in terms of the runs required. There's still a long way to go to achieve that victory. This one is short opportunity for runs there and gleefully accepted by Pawar. Nicely played, beautifully played. Just getting his weight into the shot, looking to get to the pitch of the ball. Singles will do, and any sloppy bit of work will also result in an overthrow. Philadelphians are really shocked at this slight error in field. That means that two runs would have come off of the last ball of the overs. Six runs of the over, a very good one under the circumstances. The Yorkers, 33 for four. Thirty-three for four. They brought back their ace bowler, Nanan, to bowl his final over. His partnership, fifteen of thirty-two deliveries, has been a real crucial hand from these two.
and hat and yokers would like for this partnership to continue whereas the philadelphians will like a wicket to bring them back in the game because these two have chipped away at that target of 55 52 rather this game looks more like a fourth innings run chase in a test match instead of a t20 run chase where smaller totals can be very hard on a wearing fifth day pitch Slight fumble there from Drysdale. Anand with his final delivery of his spell, which is a dot ball. And look at those figures, incredible figures. Four overs for three runs and three wickets. This must be some sort of a record in T20 cricket. How often do you see that? And those are the three wickets that he took. Expensive drive and got stumped comprehensively. Deceived in flight. Good bit of work behind the stumps from Ram Prasad. Great angles shown by our production team as well. Look at that. Another swing and a miss. A very unwise option. And Nanan was good enough to expose him and make him pay the price. This is the variation delivery. The slider caught him plumb in front. Easy decision for the umpire. And that was Nanan's work for the day. Three for three of four overs. Giving his team a real chance. But now he needs some support. And the man who's done it with the bat. He now wants to do it with the ball. And immediately makes the impact. Jonathan Fu has dismissed Pawar, who's looking pretty solid. In fact, it was Arsalan Khan. But Jonathan Fu, the kind of cricketer that he is, he always wants to impact the game. And he's done it with the ball immediately. His team needed that breakthrough. And he's provided them with that. Soft dismissal, you have to say. Arsalan Khan, who's playing down the ground, with quite ease on that occasion, couldn't control that on drive and chipped it straight to mid wicket. Nonetheless, a valuable contribution of nine from Arsalan has come to an end, and that partnership has also ended. Look at that. Just didn't get close enough on that occasion like he was doing previously, and in the air, couldn't control the drive. Catch was taken by Nanan. Half the side is back in the hutch for the Manhattan Yorkers. Is there another twist in this game? 19 runs on this pitch is quite a lot. Pawar, who's been there for 27 deliveries, he's the key one feels. <clears throat> Somewhere along the line, some experience and calm head will be required. On the face of it, there are three big hits away, but we haven't seen many big hits all day today. This has to be an accumulation job. Manoj Acharya is the new man in. And that is what modern day cricketers are not used to, especially the T20 merchants who very rarely get to play 50 overs and hardly ever get to play the longer version of the game. 
they are not used to accumulating Jonathan Fu, the experienced cricketer that he is, would exactly know where to ball on this pitch. Whether he can execute it under pressure, that remains to be seen. He's knocked him over by Nojacharya. A big swing and a miss. And the middle stump is packed back. This man, Jonathan Fu, you cannot keep him out of the game made immediate impact with the ball when his team needed him the most. He's come up and cleaned up. Wow, another duck, another batter who's trying to defy the odds, trying not to accept how difficult the conditions are, backing their instinct. Choosing the wrong option, a big gate between bat and pad and that middle stump. The rattle that Manoj Acharya would have heard would have sinked his heart because his team has slumped further with his departure. 33 for 6. Just within a blink of an eye, the game has turned around again. What a dramatic turn of events in this last five deliveries because Pawar and Arsalan was guiding the ship pretty serenely. They had batted out almost six overs without any further damage after the four early wickets. But now two have come quickly. Big shot there as Drew Joshi is the new man in. It's all happening here. Two wickets in the over for Jonathan Fu. This is the second one. Big ripping off break. And Manoj Acharya, who was very aggressive with the ball in hand earlier, trying to impact the game with his aggression, but failed. And Jonathan Fu, two wickets. And a made in two. How many maidens we've had in this inning so far? Three out of 11. It's a very rare feat again in T20 cricket. But this pitch where you have to admittedly say that these players, they do need better surfaces to exhibit their skills in a prime contest of the country. On the other hand, you have to say that still should be good enough to adapt and like I used I've used the word intelligence so many times today it really does do question the intelligence of the batters who came out swinging from ball one on this surface that is clearly there in their mind They've resigned to the fact that they cannot survive on this pitch. And that is an attitude that you don't want to have in champion athletes. Pawar has really shown everyone the way. Look at the number of balls that he's played. 30. And he's still happy to knock the ball in the gap. And his presence along with Arsalan, and although they didn't score at, at any sort of rate, but they looked like they were taking the game away from the Philadelphians. Arsalan is gone, but Pawar is still holding fort. Abdul Jabbar Mohammed into his third over. It's the one wicket for him. He was uh, overshadowed earlier by Nanan's exploits, but in his own right, he's bowled pretty well. But now his job is to become a wicket taker. Joshi did get close enough to the ball. 
to make a solid enough contact for a single. Two runs off the over. There's a slight discrepancy in the board that we're seeing here because Pawar got a run earlier. But four, uh, 12 gone. 35 for 6. Big turning off break. How these low scoring games can be so gripping. We've all seen this many times as this time Joshi has been knocked back. Another flighted delivery. Another big hoik and another failed attempt means that the furniture has been disturbed again. Jonathan Fu's third wicket. Cannot believe the approach of these batters as Drew Joshi is the latest one who succumbed to the pressure and difficult conditions on hand here at the Mercer County Park. Not willing to fight, not willing to accumulate. And they pay the ultimate price here. Regulation delivery, swinging, just swinging like a rusty gate. No contact with the ball. In fact, miles away, as you watch, Jonathan Fu wheels away in celebration. He's putting up a man of the match performance here for his side. Runs with the bat and now three wickets within nine deliveries. The death rattle once again signals curtains for Drew Joshi. 35 for 7. Can you believe it? And Jonathan Fu, 8 deliveries, no runs, and 3 wickets. This is incredible. This is absolutely unbelievable bowling figures. I'm brutally honest, it's not all about good bowling as well. Certainly not figures of none for three and eight deliveries. Nothing of that sort. But the batting and the approach has been mind-boggling. This one, he got himself in a tangle. Desai didn't know what to do. He was caught in the crease, but I think it was turning too much. Jonathan Fu could not believe it because he'd already wheeled away in celebration. But that dreaded finger was never raised by the umpire. But it's a spring in the step of the Philadelphians. 17 runs. Wow, could you imagine? 17 runs. They seem too many now with three wickets in hand. Inside edge in the air, away from the keeper. For a brief period, they had the short leg in. That's the appeal for the leg before. I didn't see a lot wrong, but this one, Jonathan Fu, acrobatically diving. It's all happening here. Picks up the ball on the bounce. Desai is looking absolutely petrified, living extremely dangerously. Could he survive the end of the over? He does. In fact, he was willing to take a single, which he did in the end. 
and by doing that he will keep strike 36 for 7 लक्ष्मी बासमती राइस को घर लाने का लक्ष्मी एक्स्ट्रा लॉन्ग बासमती राइस इसका हर दाना हो इतना लंबा पकते हुए महके और प्लेट में क्या खूब खिले हाँ मेरे घर लाने का जोनाथन फू कंसीडर हिस फर्स्ट रन on the last ball of his second over but he's taken three wickets look at that fall of wickets 33 for four at one stage then 33 for five 33 for six 35 for seven and that victory target of 16 runs seems a long long way away his size got himself back on strike <laughs> Pawar with 8 of 30 deliveries. He's the key, but like we saw, when you run out of partners, you cannot just play from both ends, like we found with Jonathan Fu. <clears throat> Somebody would need to support him the way Arsalan Khan did. Between them, these two forged a little partnership which was important in the context of the game. But since that partnership was broken three overs ago, they've added only three runs to the total and they've lost three wickets. Look at that spit in, in front of the batter. You can't do anything with that. And as a batter on a wicket like this, you would have to quickly take this out of your system. You just have to forget about this ball. And get ready for the next one. Simple approach you can could have had on this pitch. He waited it, waited for this one and watched it all the way. That's better from Desai. <clears throat> he barely survived. Jonathan fools over. If he remains in the middle, he may just start to find a way as Pawar has called him for a run. Excellent calling, excellent run there. Which means that Desai is off strike and Pawar is back on strike. And that will give time to Desai to reflect whilst he's in the middle, in the heat of the battle. Pawar is well set. But when I say well set, well set has a completely different meaning on this pitch. Probably he's well set to just maneuver the ball into the gaps and get a single, get back on to the other end for the start of the next over. He's reaching out for that, attempting, and he's been given out, stopped. That must have been very, very close because he was lunging at the ball, reaching out. He missed it. And we've seen Ram Prasad, the wicketkeeper, is extremely sharp behind the stumps and the decision has gone in his favor it will be an interesting replay because pawar's wicket is a huge wicket in the context of the game in the huddle the philadelphians that was the last delivery of the over keep an eye on that back foot as the drag was on, it lifted for a brief moment. But was it the time when Ram Prasad whipped the bales off? Pawar, Pawar wasn't very happy with the call, obviously. We needed that side angle on the other end, Omar. Oh, that would have been interesting. But as the scoreboard, scoreboard reads, that should also be quite interesting. Look at that back foot with Jonathan Fu is trying his best to hide. But you can see in between his legs, you can see that foot. Did it ever lift off the ground? It didn't. 
But did it drag out of the ground? This is what we can't tell from that angle. But the umpire's decision will stand final. And 37 for 8. Another chip. Another dismissal. Philadelphians are on the verge now. As they put Manhattan Yorkers on the mat. In a low scoring dramatic encounter. Philadelphians have turned the tables on Manhattan Yorkers. Desai is now walking back. And this is almost curtains there for Manhattan Yorkers. Who would have thought at the halfway stage with only 52 needed that they would be suffering this kind of collapse where they're 37 for 9 now. Regulation off break once again. Pushing hard at it. Reaching out to the ball way in front of their bodies. This is the mistake that all the batters have done all day long. Other than Jonathan Fu, who scored 25 himself. But now with the ball, he's taken four wickets for just one run. And he would be telling everyone that how important those 25 runs were. And how difficult they were. Because he can turn the tables himself with taking four wickets for just one run that put those 25 runs in context. Wow, wow, what drama. This is sensational here. But when all this dust is settled, I'll come back to it after this ball. Oh, lucky one that ran off the gloves onto the pads could easily have ended up onto the stumps Jonathan Fu looking for an incredible fifer big shout big shout still appealing nothing doing says the umpire <laughs> they smell blood now the Philadelphians Manhattan Yorkers would be shell shocked they don't know what has hit them. They can look back. As Jonathan Fu's next delivery. Once again spit off a length. Did it get the edge? Ram Prasad behind the stumps has been sensational on this difficult pitch. Collecting quite a few dismissals with his sharp work. Big shout, big shout. No, Jonathan Fu wasn't interested. He was not interested because that turned and hit the Joshi. Through the gate and it missed the stumps. How did it miss the stumps? Wow, he pushed that one through. Quicker through the air, plenty of grip and turn. Look how sharply he turned and over the stumps. Great wicket keeping once again there from Ram Prasad. He's been nothing short of sensational here at the Mercer County Park. In a glorious evening, beautiful blue sky and a riveting contest. <laughs> What got into you? <laughs> At Sunoco, we know how to fuel peak performance. Fuel your best. Well, this dramatic and riveting contest could end any minute here. As this one has been lofted down the ground for a single. Another 14 needed. The last wicket partnership. I have to go back and see how many the Philadelphians got for that last wicket. Ball down! That's the end of the match. An incredible victory for the Philadelphians as they wheel away in celebration.
They cannot believe it, but they have done the impossible. Defending just 51, they have bowled out Manhattan Yorkers for 38 on a difficult pitch, all right. But they showed the spirit and the fight and the desire to achieve that victory. And they've done it in a sensational style. And their faithful are up on their feet, rejoicing. And they have every right to celebrate this victory because this has been an incredible win, an incredible game of cricket, which only saw a total of 90 runs, 89 to be precise, in both innings. And the margin is 13 runs. Manhattan Yorkers are shell-shocked because they don't know what has hit them, but they can only blame themselves themselves for that approach that they took to, towards chasing that 52. They played the expensive strokes. They didn't learn from the mistakes that the Philadelphians made. They didn't learn from Jonathan Fu, who showed everyone else how to bat on this pitch. And that's why they have paid the ultimate price. They came out looking for a victory because they were behind in the points table. But that victory eluded them. And that will put their position in further jeopardy in the points table in this division. This is the match summary. The one for the record books. Jonathan Fu top scored with 25. Batted supremely well on a very, very difficult pitch. Where bowlers had a lot of say. Desai 3 for 10. Pawar 2 for 12. 1 for 16 for Joshi as well. But in return, our Salon and Pawar's partnership clearly showed the way for Manhattan Yorkers. But once our Salon fell, the wickets fell. And the last six wickets just fell within five runs after the departure of our Salon, who made nine. None of the single batters could get into the double figures. Pawar, 32 deliveries for his eight. But look at Jonathan Fu with the bat. He was the stalwart with the ball. Four wickets in three overs for just one run. None and started the rot. Three for three in his four overs. And very difficult for a team to end up on a losing side when your bowlers have performed like that. Two wickets for Mohammed as well, who was uh, an excellent contributor. All the dust when it's settled. As we look at the highlights of this innings, expensive strokes from the get-go. Pranav was the first one to go. This is another reckless stroke from Patel as Nanan was in complete control at this stage. Another soft dismissal, another player reaching out, playing way out in front. Conditions were difficult, you have to say, and when the dust settles and there is a little bit of inquisite into this game, You'd have to come up with a conclusion that these players do deserve a better playing surface, but nothing to take away from the bowling and fielding from Philadelphians as Jonathan Fu. This is the wicket that turned the tables. Arsalan went here at 33 for 5, and they could only get up to 38 after that. Fu was sending the batters. Left, right and center, Manoj Acharya, the experienced man, also misread the plot. Joshi was just swinging a miss and at that stage, Pawar was left all alone. It was a tough decision, which from our angles, we wouldn't know if it was a correct one or not, but it will read in tomorrow's newspapers as out. And the last rights, as Mohammed claims the winning wicket, and the celebration can begin. Look at those scenes. Absolutely incredible. This has been a dramatic game here at the Mercer County Park. Philadelphians winning by 13 runs. An improbable and unbelievable victory. And that will also conclude our coverage for the day. There's plenty more coming to you tomorrow as well on a Sunday, on a busy Sunday. Full fixture list. We hope you enjoyed our coverage and we look forward to your company. This is Shah Faisal signing off from the Mercer County Park. Have a great evening.
You're watching the Sunoco Minor League Cricket Championship, brought to you by our 2023 partners.